not to. Uh, so, so now to our segment, Plugged in Parenting. So many parents have experienced it. We were just talking about this. They go to maybe snap a picture of their child, but they turn away, the child does, or, or they maybe block their face. Young children do it, you see? So do teens, though. And that reaction is raising some questions. You know, are they doing it because, well, they're not feeling confident. They just don't want their pictures maybe posted anywhere. Is there something that we should be doing differently as parents when taking pictures of our kids and posting them? That's the primary question here, right? Lori Osachi is a licensed clinical <laughs> social worker with River Shores Counseling. He's joining us live in studio this morning. Kind of dig into this discussion. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Always appreciate you. Uh, so it's interesting. Um, I think that we showed younger kids and, you know, younger kids are probably just like, come on, I want to go play. You know, but the reality is, is I think that this raises a question about we make these assumptions. I want to post all of these pictures about, you know, of my kids to kind of update family that lives out of state and the kids just may not like it. So how do you have that conversation? Uh, and let's start with young kids. You know, should we, is, is it okay to just take these pictures and just post them, even if maybe they're crying and they're upset and we find it maybe kind of funny because it's over something silly? Well, that's a great question. I think that you should think about how you'd feel. That would right. be the first thing to think. Would you really want someone posting a picture of you crying? And I just thinking about the story, I was thinking there are so many pictures of me, especially in the 80s with my hair, that I'm so <laughs> glad are, are in a box somewhere and right. not living forever on the internet. And I think, you know, it's different for parents who maybe didn't grow up with that or not the way our kids have it today. Well, and I think it's interesting, too, because given social media and the fact that it's so easy to share some kind of digital photo and copy it and post it everywhere, I mean, the reality is, is perhaps we have to think about who is going to see that picture. This could end up going, be a picture that is now shared around, you know, your daughter, your son's class, for example. Absolutely. Everything you put online, it lives there forever. And so I think to do, to do nothing, it, it, that's a little extreme, but maybe to curate a little better. And, you know, parents have always loved taking pictures of their kids, so, but we didn't have the opportunity to post it online. And so I think it requires a different way of thinking about it. So should we be asking for permission from them? I think kids are people. And it's a good model to have discussions with your children, even when they're very young. It helps them feel like they're important, that what they see matters. And even if you decide against it, you can tell them why. And I'm not saying get into a big debate about it, but kids need to be heard. Yeah. So it's interesting, a, a 2021 survey found that more than three quarters of parents reported sharing stories, pictures or videos of their kids online. Other research shows that most children of all ages have negative feelings about sharenting, you know, or parents who are sharing entirely too much online. I think that that should raise a question when we're taking a photo and thinking about what's the purpose of that photo and where we're going to put it. I agree. Personally, I think the, the kids' privacy and feelings are more important than that. I still ask my kids, is it okay to post a picture? And they're, they're adults. You know, I would want someone to ask me, yeah, right. I mean, at the end of the day, and we all are like that. I'm like that with my husband. Don't post anything on, you know, without me looking at that picture first. And I think that uh, there's a whole other part of this conversation, too. I, I think that we all went through an awkward age in our lives, right? We maybe didn't feel 100% comfortable about our body image and everything else. Does this make that kind of period, you know, last forever because it's been posted? Oh, yes, absolutely. Right. I mean, think of your most embarrassing picture Ooh. when you were a teenager. Would you want it all over right. the Internet? Right. I mean, when I showed my kids, they couldn't stop laughing. I mean, so right. that was enough criticism. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need it from everybody. Yeah, it's so true. <laughs> Final just thoughts to parents and, and your advice to them when it comes to, you know, we're trying to raise children who are confident and feel good about themselves and making sure we're not doing something inadvertently that's doing the opposite. Right, and that's why it's important to include them in the conversation and including them if they do have body image issues or they're, they're very negative, that's when you can start to talk about it, you know, um, to tell them what, what's making you feel this way. You're, you're a lovely looking person, you know, and let's figure out why. Yeah, and being a size two or a size zero. Well, that's a whole no. other topic that doesn't <laughs> help either. I mean, it's hard for our kids today. Yeah. It's hard. And, and keep that in mind, too, before we're sharing anything of our kids. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lori, for being here. We appreciate you. Food for thought, I think. <laughs> Food for thought.
Let's get you caught up now on your forecast.